okay guys welcome to your fifth tutorial of flutter news app so what we have done is previously we have fetched the json response and now what we are going to do is we are going to display this onto the screen so first and foremost what we will do is we will take our get our news list first list article model articles list article model okay perfect and i'll just i think it has imported this file already yeah uh because imports are important okay so what we have done is we have like created this and we will create get news async so what we have done is we have created an async method here because now the data is not coming hard codedly now the data is being fetched so it might take some time so we don't want anything else to happen before the data is being fetched right so since we are going to reference the async method that we have created in in here so that is why we need to write async here too so first of all i'll just take that class that we had made there use data and i will initialize it okay that's good i'll add await news data is equals to get news and the articles are going to be data to be saved in, if i'm not wrong yeah so i think this is done and we will call this method into our init state so whenever the state is being initialized our data runs our method runs so this is done and now we have to work on our uh, the design the ui and then we will be done with this so i hope if you are learning something from my channel please subscribe i know i'm gone for long times and i come back later like two weeks but you know uh, i am also learning stuff so whenever i learn something then i have to come back and you know like give it back to you so this i have just learned recently like past three weeks i have learned all this and i'm sharing this with you so this is pretty new in my head okay so what we have done is we have uh, we have like initialized our list first and we have created an async method and all this is done and what we will do is we will just come back in here so this is for category now the steps are going to be similar as we were doing for uh, we were doing for our uh, our category so i i told you in previous tutorials that why did i use column here why i didn't use a row since it looked like a row because the data that we are going to display is going to be below this the news is going to be here so it's kind of vertical even though it looks like so the categories are in horizontal but it is vertical right and we want this container uh, the 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 categories and the news to be on the same page so we need this to be in the vertical right so first our categories and then our news are being displayed so that is why we had taken a column so what i'll do here is i will take a container right away here and i will do this child and return a list view builder again because we are returning list of data and item count is going to be articles dot length shrink i don't know what is shrink to wrap is but you know if i don't add this then i get an error add this otherwise an error okay item builder 
we call this uh, a method contacts contacts mean on this page and a function okay here we will return the template that we are going to create for our news each news item okay or news list okay what we have done here so far is that i have already explained and i will add some more properties to it physics clamping scroll physics because otherwise our widget will not uh, it will not uh, what do you call scroll okay that's it and now let's just leave this for now and we will come back here we will create a new stateless creating template for news so we can call this news template okay news template uh, the spelling or template and what we can do in here is right off the bat let's take title description what else url url to image and oh we need to name this news template and we are creating this constructor news template named constructor type title this description this url to image and lastly this url perfect now here what we have to do is we have to create a template where we are like returning the image and you know all that stuff so child we will return probably a column here because we want like you know the text to come under the image so widget okay let's take cached network image image url is going to be url to image the width of the image we can give it 380 the height of the image we can give is 200 let's do 154 okay let's just go 200 and we want to display it box fit dot cover so that's it and just to show that we are doing everything right i'll just run the app for now and we will come back in our container for I'll just close close this category because we don't need this for now okay here we are we have to return our news template right so within news template we had created a constructor below we have this constructor here so what we have to pass is we have to pass uh, url to image first articles according to the position i had explained what index is url to image and if i add this in this constructor required then this method will not run but i haven't added that so it will run anyway so let's just see if our images are being displayed so run the app again For some reason our images are not being displayed. Let me just delete the app and install it again. Oh wow. This is really cool, right guys? I was just wasting my time with Android emulator. It was really slow. And now this is great. Like you just share your screen with your phone. I'm really happy. 
So I'll pause the video for now. Meanwhile, it installs. Okay, our app is like coming on and let's see what's the output. Okay, yeah, so images are not coming up. For some reason, let's just check why is that. The Wi Fi is working. URL to image. Maybe I can see if we are seeing the how do I create a button? Maybe I can just create a button. I just want to see if I'm getting the URL right. This is just for testing purposes. Okay, let's see if Okay, yeah, so the images are being loaded and yeah, and this is the test link that I had done. So yeah, it is it is being loaded. Maybe my internet was slow. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. You can just refresh it. So images are being loaded, but you know, we are seeing this border and you know, all that we have to get rid of it but images are being successfully loaded so first of all what i will do is i will just go to our whole widgetry and i will take this into scroll oh single child scroll view Okay, that thing is gone. Yeah, that thing is gone and it is looking much better and now we can just style it a little bit. So we need margin. Mm, edge insets. All. Maybe we can do. Well, let's just do all sixteen. So you know to make it more refined, and now it's like looking like a baby, like awesome. So it is looking more refined, and it is being swiped beautifully. And what we can do is uh, we can uh, add some radius to the corners. So widget again, same steps as category that we were doing. 
okay great border radius is going to be circular six so yeah images are round corner now great so now what we want to do is we want to display the text below it so i'll take I'll take maybe another container or just direct. Yeah, I'll take. So what we need is like we need to display the text in here, right? So another way of uh, doing padding and all that, instead of doing that, you can just add a sized box widget and add a little bit space. And if we see now here, we will get some space between it. Yeah, we're getting that. So I just minimize it a little bit because this is so cool about Flutter that you see the changes right away. Okay, so now our text is going to come in here. So what was the text? We have to display title. We can style it a little bit. Text style. Text style is going to be font weight let's give it font weight bold and font size is going to be 16 18 comma and let's just copy this whole thing and paste it again for the description okay we can give this 15 and the color here we can give is black and here we can give color gray or maybe a little bit more gray uh, gray 700 let's do it gray 700 800 it's okay so what we have done is we have defined the template we'll go back in here same thing title articles according to the index title description articles index description and let's just save the app and we would we should be seeing you see this looks great so what we can do is like the the description we can just take away the font weight because it is looking ugly so there we have it guys yeah now you see so this is great right Yes, so the response is being successful and next we will work on how do we load the news according to the categories so this is great awesome thank you for watching guys if you have any questions you can email me or or download this depos repository from the github or just send me a message on instagram and follow me there and subscribe this channel if you have any problems with this, please guide me also. I'm also learning and I will take your suggestions. So see you soon in the next one.